Good morning. Ah, I want to talk about our attachment to our senses. Our seeing, touching, smelling, tasting, hearing, and, and our thinking mind. And through these tools we are used to receive information. And it keeps us focused on form and things. And since we live in a, for live in a world of forms and things, we tend to think of ourselves as forms and things. And we have this very heavy disposition to think that who we are is who we think we are. Because that's how we are used to receive information. But now imagine that you are this big blob. And part of this blob is, is what you can experience through your senses and your thinking mind. But there's this much, much, much bigger part, this vast part, which has no form. It's easy to get caught up in the form, as you can see. But there's this big, big part which has no form. But how would you know about it? You can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't hear it, you can't touch it, and you can't even think about it. Because thinking always has an object. It always has a subject-object relationship and this part of you that is formless is not an object. So how would you know about it? And if you're attached to the fact that the only way you can know about what is is through your senses and thinking mind, you decide that that part of you which has no form isn't. And that's the predicament we find ourselves in. It is kind of like the metaphor which Christ said about the kingdom of heaven. Because right now, if you look around me, you can see all these busy streets, cars going by, me talking, so many sensory inputs. It keeps you focused on form, but while this is happening, if you just look up there, there's a big, big blue sky. And I think it's amazing this example because anytime you look at you, you look around you see things I'm looking at this cup it's a thing but if I look up to the sky that's the only place where I'm not looking at something I'm looking into infinity itself and I really love this example Christ used because I think looking up to the sky is the closest example we get of our true nature of who we are this vast formless empty See, these are words. I'm already describing something that I can't describe. Ah, this is where the words fall apart. Look, it can be seen. Listen, it can be heard. Grasp, it can be reached. You can't know it, but you can be it, says Lao Tzu. And how you can be it? by giving up all the concepts about who you think you are. Because all these concepts are out there in the world of forms and Christ said it, that the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's right here, right now. All of it. You are right here, right now, not out there. You trying to fit yourself in to who you think you are, to all these concepts about who you are and what you're doing and how you ought to be and how you should be, is like me trying to pack my sleeping bag into one of those little sacks. I try to fold it, I try to push it, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> and you don't fit. You don't fit. And you don't fit because you are so much more than who you think you are. You're so much more. So much more.